Welcome to day 11 of my Chicago Golf's Indoor Golf Challenge. We have recently been talking about troubleshooting, how to fix shots that go to the right or to the left. Today, I want to help you troubleshoot contact. I want to help you avoid hitting shots off the inside part of the golf club, the heel. It is very common. I'd say probably a third of the people that come into my Chicago Golf, they hit it off the inside part. With irons, if you hit it off the uh, the hosel, the ball shoots directly to the right, 45 degrees to the right. Sometimes it barely gets off the ground. It's a severe miss. If you do that with a driver or a wood, it puts more spin on the, on the golf ball and the ball doesn't fly as far. They're very weak drives. So if you want some, some good distance and if you want that, that good feeling of solid contact and you're hitting it off the heel, this video is for you. So let's go ahead and get started today. So let's discuss the common reasons why people sometimes hit it off the inside part of the club. If we're being factual, a heel shot is a shot where the club starts behind the ball and then it returns one inch farther away. That's what a heel shot is. So let's make sure that the pre-swing fundamentals are clean. When you stand to the ball, I want you to be balanced between your toes and your heels. So I want you balanced in the middle of your foot. From this front view, I want you balanced between your left and your right side. So I'm looking for balance and some space between uh, the club and our body. So I don't want our pelvis too, too far underneath us where we're taking up that space. And then I don't want you too far away knowing that you hit it on the heel, starting to get farther away, and then now the weight's on the toes. The reason why getting farther away doesn't work is because when our weight is on our toes, it's difficult for us to make the full turn and get the depth in our hands that we need and that's only possible when we're balanced. And so people will know they're hitting on the heel, they get farther away, and they end up falling into the golf ball. So we, we gotta get you into a balanced state uh, throughout the swing. We definitely don't wanna get closer to the ball, so we don't wanna set up to it. And then as we make our back swing get closer, we could hit the heel that way. Uh, you don't want to make a swing where if your body's coming in closer, you can hit the heel that way too. So let's, let's stay balanced and in our posture. As far as why the heel shots happen in the, in the actual swing, the, the two common things that I see are rolling in the hands and the takeaway. When the hands roll, the, uh, the handle will move out closer to the ball. The, the shape of the swing gets flat, all right? And then when the shape of the swing is flat, the club head tends to want to move more out. So when they're setting up to the ball, rolling of the hands, and then from here, club wants to move out. And that's where they hit it on the heel. So instead, let's, let's have things move together and very simple right here in the takeaway. Um, the other thing with your hand path, as you make this good turn, I want the hands to go up somewhere over your shoulder. Uh, a lot of times I'll see, I'll see swings where the hands are, are too far wrapped around them. Their arms, instead of having things move together and have the width, they, I see players start to get the arms behind them. And so all this leads to having the feeling of wanting to, to throw the club more out. All right, so you're gonna make sure that you're balanced. You're gonna make sure that you have good space. And then you're going to keep it really simple, to shoulders, arms, club together over your shoulder. And then you're going to come back down with the club right behind the ball or even closer to you. So I'm going to give you some drills to help you with the heel shots now. So let's have a look at some tour players hitting some hosel shots. Uh, it happens, guys. It's a hard game. Even the best players in the world will sometimes hit it off the inside part of the club. A lot of times it'll when it'll be on an awkward lie. Right here, this is a driving range before a major championship. You know, one of the best players in the world right there. Uh, love his swing. He just, he might have been close to that one. It happens. That one just shot directly to the right. I think when it happens, you have to try to regroup uh, this swing looks really quick. Ball looks a little bit above his feet. 
but quick swing and you know it 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 happens sometimes here's this one's on the tee box so regroup oh this is my personal favorite right here uh this one isn't a shank but uh we got zach johnson hitting a ball at the masters with his practice swing if you make a practice swing give yourself some space more space than than that so uh Let's, let's give you some drills to help you with your heel shot so we can make sure this doesn't happen to you on the course. So here's a few of my favorite drills to help you avoid hitting it off the heel. The first one, I want you to set up to a T, build your spacing and your balance. And I want you to swing back. And when you come down, I want to see that you come down inside of the T. So we start where the T is, turn back, and then when we swing down, we return the club closer to us. Essentially, we're practicing the opposite. We're practicing a toe shot. So especially for the golfers that tend to move in closer to it or that are really close to begin with, they'll find it almost impossible to, to do that. So the only way to do it correctly, you have to have space and you have to you know, keep your body away from the ball throughout the swing. So it would look like this. Here, here. You could also do it with an alignment stick. You could take, take the stick, put the club on one side of the stick, swing back, and then go underneath. The other one that I like, I like right hand only, or trail hand. So when a golfer does this, and they hit little shots with just their trail hand, they tend to keep the motion simple. It's when I see both hands on there, that's when I see more of the rolling. So go right hand only, grip down, lean it forward, small shots, just seeing if you can make a simple motion. Use the, the, either the face tape or the spray and purposely draw a line right down the middle of the club and make some marks towards the, the toe side of the club. Um, the other one that I like is the pause drill. So I want you to go up to the top and pause, and then I want you to come back down closer to you. And so again, club starts at the T, up to the top and pause. Exaggerate, make it feel different. Have it exaggerate. And then one last drill. I've shown you this before, but the, the box drill is, is perfect for this. So just set up to something soft, place the club about an inch outside of it, and then avoid hitting it on the way down. Okay. So some simple drills you can do to help you hit the heel. Uh, if, if you practice these things, the heel shots, they go away. Uh, I, I know when they happen, it's such a severe miss. It almost feels like it's a, a mental error, but um, that's just your confidence. Once you start to find the center of the face, your confidence will come back. And so uh, practice this stuff and I'll see you tomorrow. Uh -huh.